What's up, everybody? Mike Galimi from the NMRA here. We're at the World Finals plus Holly Intergalactic Ford Festival, having some fun. We've got the drag strip going, we've got the circle track going, and we got something really unique in the pits. You're not going to hear it go down the track. It's a new electric Cobra jet that we've heard all about, and they brought it out here to Beach Bay Raceway to have some fun with it. We're with Brian Novak from Ford Performance. Uh, tell us what do we got going on? Yeah, so we've got our uh, Mustang Cobra Jet 1400 here. We're proud to bring it out here to the MRA event here. Um, so, you know, electrified Cobra Jet. So essentially it is your it is your run-of-the-mill Cobra Jet. We've just taken that gas motor out. We've put the whole electric powertrain in it. So batteries, inverters, motors. Uh, it bolts right up to the stock transmission. Uh, and then we run from there. So, uh, you know, it's a development test bed for us at Ford. It's very uh, important to us. Electrification is a few, part of the future of our company. Uh, we've invested $11.5 billion in that, and so this is part of that. So our job at Ford Performance is to learn it and push it to the limits and transfer that back to the company. So, you know, if we want, we can sit here and go through some of the stuff on the car. Here we have the motor bay of the Cobra Jet 1400. So in this case, we worked with Cascadia Motion on the powertrain. So we've got a couple really strong partners in AEMEV and the controls. Cascadia Motion on the powertrain. MLE Race Cars is our development partner and integration partner. Uh, so there's been a lot of work going on in, uh, with them and with our powertrain engineers at Ford Performance Motorsports to develop this, as well as our calibration engineers. So um, two Cascadia motion, or it's a, what they call a dual stack, so DS250. So there's two motors on the top. There's actually two motors right down in there. And then on the back, we've got a summing gearbox. So that's a one-to-one -one ratio gearbox. And essentially all it is is taking two output shafts and making it into one so that we can put that right into the transmission. So it bolts right up to the standard bell housing. Uh, that, that would be in the in the gas-powered Cobra Jet. Uh, so an inverter for each motor, uh, some battery management stuff, and the charger's hooked up right now. We're running a charge on it, uh, getting ready for our next run. But essentially what it is is remove the gas motor, put the electric powertrain in, uh, and then just a significant amount of development on that. So we're working towards that. How long did it take you guys from start to finish to get this operational? Uh, so we've been a little over a year on the project right now. Uh, so we've been testing for... Um, you know, it's been a bit of a challenge because COVID happened in the middle of the test, the test cycle for this car. So uh, uh, that was that was interesting and kept things uh, kept things fun, I guess you could say. Um, so so we, you know, it's a little over a year. You you were talking off camera before about how you keep the batteries cool and it's it's temperature driven in terms of performance. Tell us a little bit what goes into you know, an electric motor racing. Yeah. So like anything. Um, just like in a gasoline uh, engine, everything's got a sweet spot. So these motors run up to 10,000 RPM. Uh, you know, uh, they like to operate in a certain area. The, the inverters like to operate in a certain area, and the battery likes to operate in a certain area. So all that, we're sitting there working to optimize, and each battery chemistry is different in what you want, but everything just likes a sweet spot. So we're working to optimize the car within that, within that range and just get the maximum performance out of it we can possibly get. Now you guys have had this at, at a couple public events over the last month. What's the quickest you guys have, run, have you run So with the it? quickest, we, we run privately at 827. I believe at Gator Nationals, we just ran in 837. Uh, so uh, we're looking to see how much more we can get out of it this weekend. You think uh, we think we see 18 to set the record this weekend for electric uh, power? We'll see, we, we'll see what we can do, yeah.